you very much. A very good afternoon to you all. As Tammy said, what else would we be doing? It's a beautiful day. This is probably the best cause that we could be supporting. It's, it's wonderful and, and I thank you all for coming out today. We are here today because we all know what a wonderful job the ABC does. Our ABC is a precious space for Australian storytellers, a place where they can weave their magic to question, to explore, to define and challenge what it means to be Australian. Our ABC is a remarkable institution and its influence spans generations. Just like we all knew about play school, our kids and grandkids are watching bananas in pyjamas too. And we're here today because we want to safeguard a future which our children's children can watch high quality educational children's programming, just the same as we did. It really is such a, a buzz for me to be here today and see people from, you know, every member of every family would see, certainly people from all of the age groups and hope you're wearing your hats. And uh, one of the signs which I really love says, who else but the ABC includes our whole family, indeed. Start a future where the ABC continues to come out on top as the institution Australians most trust to provide them with independent, accurate news coverage, with insightful current affairs, in-depth quality investigative journalism that makes a difference, and of course the most compelling drama. We're here today because we care about a future where the ABC is still able to fulfil its obligations to Australians under the terms of its great charter. That piece of legislation that empowers our ABC to make programs that speak to each of us, no matter where we live, no matter where we come from. Content that celebrates diversity, that tells the stories that make up the Australian experience and stories that unite us. And as I said, no matter where we live, I probably would guess quite correctly that most of us are city or suburban dwellers of Sydney. But I have friends who live in the country who when uh, their houses are, are in trouble of maybe being burnt down when there are bush fires raging and the power's being cut, what do they do? They go to their trusty little uh, train, transistor radio, hope they've got batteries in them and listen to the wonderful coverage, the emergency coverage that only the ABC provides. Yeah. We all have a vision of what we want for our ABC in the future and that future is in real danger. These cuts will mean more job losses. These cuts will mean lost opportunities for our young people, for the best and the brightest coming up through the ranks. Cuts mean less opportunity for our production crews to work on the highest quality, well-funded, world-class productions right here in our backyard. Cuts mean less Australian drama, less opportunities for our actors, our performers, our screenwriters, our musicians and our set designers who together enrich our culture with their wonderful storytelling. More cuts, yes for all the performers, thank you. <laughs> cuts mean jobs disappearing from our newsrooms, intelligent, thoughtful, local programs being axed. Cuts mean stories going untold. 
our members, the members of the Media, Entertainment and Arts Alliance, include the working journalists, the actors and performers, the production crews, musicians and writers who make the ABC tick. We've already seen... We've already seen 70 of our colleagues from the Asia Pacific News Centre depart the ABC due to budget cuts this year. With them, they take years of expertise and storytelling know-how just out the door with them and leaving Australia without a voice in our region. What a shame. I once sang a song for an Australian, a great Australian, called Gough Whitlam. He had many dreams and lots of them came true. One of those dreams was that the ABC could be big enough to support a national youth music station that would give a voice to generations to come. Uh, he did that. From skyhooks to Powderfinger to the presets, the ABC through Triple J has been the backbone of the Australian music industry. Thank you, the ABC, and in January, I think this will deserve a celebration too, Triple J turns 40 years young. <laughs> we must not let an efficiency review take away investment in the future of our cultural identity and our storytelling. not let a so-called budget crisis chip away what has been 82 years in the making, a proud legacy built over decades. These are our stories. This is our future. And it's our ABC. Thank you for your continued ongoing support. It, it's wonderful. And I think I can say this. I know what Goff would say. He'd say...